Hi friends, welcome to Opera Studies YouTube channel. This is part 13 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about exit command in Notebook Utility. So, if you have watched all my previous videos in the Azure Databricks video playlist, by this time you know that what is Databricks Utilities, and we know that inside the Databricks Utilities there are a lot of utilities available, such as file system utilities, library utilities, and also this Notebook Utility. There are a lot more. So, we are discussing about each and every utility step by step. So this video we are focusing about the command called exit which is inside the notebook utility. So let me practically show you this. If I go to Azure Databricks, so this is my Azure Databricks and here uh, let me go to workspace and let me go to users. Let me go to this uh, my folder here mahit 322 So there are set of utilities or set of notebooks which I created in the past. So let me create a new notebook here and uh, let me name this notebook name is like maybe notebook utilities okay and uh, i have i am attaching this cluster called demo cluster to this notebook and default language is python let me hit this create button to create the notebook so and this is how we usually create the notebook right by this time you already know and we have already discussed in our past videos that there is something called databricks utilities on top of the databricks utilities if you use the help function that is going that is going to list on you all the available utilities inside this database utilities you can see credentials utilities data utilities file system utilities there are a lot more in my past video exactly the previous video of this video we have discussed about file system utility and if you want to know any command inside any utility for example for this file system utility whatever the commands available inside it if you want to know it you can use this db utilities dot file system dot help function so when i execute this command it will list on you all the available commands available inside the file system utility and we we covered all these commands in our past video and there are a set of other commands also available for the file system utility like mount and mounts and unmount and lot of other commands so these things we will be covering in our upcoming videos so don't worry so now this video and the next video will be purely focused on the notebook utilities and if you want to know all the available commands inside the notebook utilities you need to use db utilities dot notebook dot help function and then if i execute this by hitting the shift enter button that is going to give me the available functions or commands inside this notebook utility or notebook module you can see there are two functions one is exist function that will actually let let the execute let it will execute exit the function exit the notebook with a value actually and run command that will actually uh, runs a notebook and whatever that notebook is returning using the exit value that value also it will get written you so this run command we will discuss in our upcoming video so don't worry that means the immediate next video so in this video we are focusing about this exit command that will let you exit a notebook with a value and if you want to know a more details about any command then what you can do here you can pass that command name also and you can execute this uh, command to know more details about that particular function also okay so now let me go back to presentation so as I said, this notebook utility allows you, uh, there are two commands majorly like exit and run and uh, the, using these two commands, what you can do, you can actually chain the notebooks one after other also. That is also, you will make sense in our next video. So this video purely focus about this exit command only. So exit command help you to exit a notebook with a value. Let me practically show you this. So let me remove this code here. So let's assume I have a uh, variable called first name and inside this variable, I am saving value like shake. And then here I am using db utilities, then notebook utility and exit command. To the exit command, I am passing my first name. So now if I run this cell by hitting shift enter, then my notebook is going to execute and execute this cell and notebook will get exit with the value whatever I am supplying. See here for the exit function, I am passing this variable and inside this variable we have a value called shake. That is the reason notebook got exited with this value. So let's assume in the second cell, maybe I am writing a code something like this last name and in the last name I am supplying value called Mahir and maybe I am using a print statement to print the last name. So now let me run only cell 2 here. So when I run a only cell 2, see cell 2 execution is successful. So now what will happen if I execute all the cells here by hitting this run all button. So when I hit this run all cells, if you closely observe this cell executed completely and printed this message saying like notebook exited with the value shake and if you see this is second command or this is second cell execution got skipped 
so that means whenever you use a exit function or exit command so once the execution will comes to that particular cell after that whatever the cells you have in your notebook all those scales will get skipped automatically so that is what i have written here also so below cells after the exit command will automatically get skipped actually so they will never run the execution will run only up to here after so before this exit function if you have anything it will run without any issue but after this exit function if you have any other cells then those cells will not execute at all so now you may be wondering so what is the use of it so we are making sense that execution is getting exited and whatever the value we are passing to that function that value is getting written so what is the use of it that you will make sense in my our next video why because in the next video i am going to explain about the run command and run command will actually help you to run one notebook by another notebook for example let's assume this is like notebook utilities right and let's assume i have another notebook called notebook utilities 2 so from the notebook utilities 2 if you want to run this notebook utilities then you can very easily run it and whatever the value you are exiting here that value will get written into that notebook notebook utilities 2 and you can consume that value according to your need so you will make sense all of that in our upcoming videos so please stay tuned that's it in this video hope you got a idea about what is the exit function inside the notebook utility thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much